Okay, well I'm a little uh, bored and I thought I would make a quick video showing uh, something that, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say I recommend, but I will say that it works uh, for running a blower. I've got the uh, rotator motor turned out and I got one belt looped around the blower and it turns the right direction. <laughs> so it does, it, it works. I'll uh, plug it in real quick here. So it, it definitely works like that. It spins at a little less than half speed or so with that particular motor. But it still moves air. A fair chunk of it. So uh, I have a shop vac tube plumbed in right there uh, and then shoved up the chopper tube. There's not a lot of leakage right where it's connected, but in the actual chopper tube there is uh, some leakage because it's not a tight fit, so there's a lot of back feeding and everything. Uh... <laughs> So, I've ran this Thunderbolt with the shop vac blowing out through, you know, like it would be a blower, and that was allowed. And that was the first time that my Thunderbolts had air ran through it, you know, since when it was, when it, since it was last used in service. <clears throat> but, this time, this is, this will be no longer the first time, but this will be one of the first times that an actual blower has fed air through it since it was last, you know, in service. Uh, what's neat though is that this is a single phase blower and that wall right there it looks like you could use a nice disconnect and an RCM and a couple other controls, so we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, but for now, <laughs> I'll set this here and hope and pray that it gets an okay video. Mostly hope. Adjust that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm going to probably wind the chopper up first, and then once that starts winding down, I'll plug the blower in, and hopefully it'll be picked up. Probably not, but we'll see. So, if you noticed how it suddenly got extremely quiet, the, uh, the shop vac tube blew itself out of the chopper tube, which is fully expected, because there's quite a bit of air being pushed through. And unlike shop vac, a blower does not allow back pressure to build. It does, it just, it, it's, you know, for, air forced one way, it can't come back in. So it, it, it built up enough pressure and dropped the tube out, but... That's whatever. Hopefully the audio picked out okay. This is a really, really ridiculous way to do this, but I mean, hey, it does kind of work, and it's a good way to exercise the blower too, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully soon that motor will have all the power necessary to run that at normal speed, including that. So anyway. <laughs>